So you have to provide us a recipe. We'll use chicken as the base protein. Everybody has chicken in their house for the, for the audience members. Yep. Everyone has chicken. So we'll use that as a protein. You have to give us a recipe that we, and they can make with regular household items, right? Maybe they have heavy cream, grapeseed oil, spices, you know, green onions, rosemary, things of that nature that people would typically have in their house. None of this, none of this, you know, uh, uh, Chief, Food Network Chief. truffle oil coming, coming from France, you know, uh, balsamic vinegar from Tuscany. None of that. Simple. Give us We're a recipe. Right house, that can make We're at home. my house now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it starts really simple. You take a, a six or eight ounce chicken breast, however they come in your packet. Mm -hmm. You cut them in half. So if the, that's the breast, you just cut it in half. Not this way. Lengthways. Why? Because it's going to cook quicker. You season salt and pepper. One thing about salt and pepper, and I'm just throwing in this for yourself, not that it's part of the recipe, but I'm going to give you education here. If you can get a coffee grinder and buy, uh, and buy um, um, sea salt and peppercorns and grind it up yourself, the heat from the essential oil gives me a better flavor in the peppercorn and it comes out natural. Unlike buying a pound of pepper that, that sits in your pantry or one of those cold things. Mm -hmm. Because whenever you, whenever you use spice, you have to heat it to bring out the essential oils. So, so those cold things that do this are no really good. Anybody who's in the restaurant, I laugh at them because they're, they're, <laughs> they're useless. Um, Man, so you know, I've been doing you know, it all wrong. Yeah, seriously. It, it, because if you take nutmeg or you take peppercorns or you take, you have to normally heat them in the oven to bring out the, 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 the essential oils. And it's like a micro when you when you have lemon. If you want the lemon flavor, you microwave the, the lemon, orange juice, grapefruit for about 30 or 40 seconds till so it gets warm on the outside and the skin starts to sweat of the of the fruit. That way you get in the essential oils when you squeeze the lemon, not just the juice. Hmm. So we, if you can do that, great. If you can't, we got salt and pepper. <laughs> season it, salt and pepper, both sides on a tray, season it both sides. Put the pan on hot. This is the garbage bag. Put the pan on. No oil in the pan. No oil. Put it nice and hot. Then put a little oil in. Then put your 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 chicken in. Do not shake the pan. <laughs> Leave it because if you do A or B, you remember these. You will break the adherence of the sear, which means it won't become golden brown. And, and that's the sugar coming out of the chicken, oh, right? Okay. So if I have an eight ounce chicken breast, I've cut it in half. I've seasoned it. I put it down. I leave it three minutes. I turn it three minutes without doing this. Then I take it out. I leave it on the side. I take an onion, chop the onion up. You know how to chop an onion, right? I hope so. <laughs> either, either dice it or don't dice it. Cut it in half and just chop it down. A little bit of garlic. If you have garlic, if not, it doesn't matter. In the same pan you cook the chicken, add a little bit more oil. Cook the, the garlic and the onions if you have garlic, but definitely the onions. Chop up a tomato or open a can of tomatoes. Once the onions are translucent, cooked. That's a big mm. word for an English guy, translucent. <laughs> Once the onions are cooked, garlic, da, 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 da. Now, if you have garlic, do not chop it like dice. Slice it nice and thin. Just straight through, right? Mm -hmm. And if you want to leave the skin on it, you can. It's going to dissipate in the sauce. It's good for you. It's not going to hurt you, okay? Okay. Leave the skin on if you want. If not, take it off. Onions, garlic, sweat it down so they're translucent. They're cooked. They're nice. Add the tomatoes, either fresh or canned. little salt, little pepper. Then leave it for about five minutes into the blender, blend it. You don't have to blend it. I would say blend it because that's what I do. Okay. Then put it back in the pan. Put the chicken back in the sauce. Leave it for about two or three more minutes. Adjust the seasoning. Just before you serve it, if you have cream cheese or Ooh. sour cream or, or vanilla yogurt or anything like that, a little dollop of that in there, stir it up. Serve it over pasta or baked potatoes, sweet potatoes, mashed potatoes, some green beans sauteed up. I mean, if you can't Sounds cook that. really good. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. 